Welcome to Washita Mountain Living Podcast. I can't see nothing. Makes me want to listen to some Stevie Wonder or something. You can't see nothing out of these. I got ripped off. It's just like looking at a, at the wall in the dark. Oh, there you are. I gotta see where these things are made. Dublin, Ireland. I ain't never had anything made in Dublin, Ireland. Have you? Well, that's where these dudes are made. I got these silly looking things at the hardware store. I think they was up there with the free calendars. Yeah, but I don't think they was free. The Eclipse. Oh, just when I think society gets to the point, I just, oh. People are going nuts. Or is this going to be one of them things? Where nothing happens. Okay, they're telling us there's going to be a million people around here. I don't want a million people snooping around here. I'm going to be locked and loaded. I'm going to tell you that, people. You ain't coming up to my place to look at no sun. No. It's private property. Arkansas's full. It's going to rain that day anyway. No, I just looked. It said periods of sun. I would, you know, if, if, you, if you're smart and you're traveling to look at the eclipse, I hope you're smart enough to look at the weather. And a wise person would look at that and say, man, is that worth the chance? Is that, is that worth driving 150, 200, 500, 1,000 miles to see a, a, the sun go behind the moon? I'm sorry, folks. It does not interest me at all. Yes, <coughs> I'm going to watch it. I got the screen to put in front of my camera, even though I can't see through it. Now, I may test that today. Uh, you're supposed to be able to just put it right on the raw sun. That's what we're going to call it, the raw sun. And look at sunspots in that. <laughs> I don't know about all that. But I'm going to test it. But I do have a very good vantage point. I usually go out there where the dog's yard is and the sun will be right there. Right above me. They are predicting world ending events. And people are buying into it. What could possibly happen? I know that in the weather, in the weather report, it says the temperature can drop several degrees. Well, you think? The sun's blocked. That's our heat source. I'm pretty sure it's going to. And the one I like. The one I like the best. Do not allow your dogs to look at the sun. Dogs aren't stupid. I've never seen my dogs out there. Look, ball now it's the sun. They ain't that dumb. Animals aren't that dumb. We're the only species that is dumb enough to look at the sun. That's it. I don't even know they realize it's up there. But they sure ain't dumb enough to look at it. And make sure your cats don't look at it either. And the hamsters and, and your goldfish. You better put something around your goldfish because, you know, they're just dying to look at the sun. Oh, the world gets dumber and dumber and dumber every single year. Eh, yeah, man. And I'm buying into it. I got these stupid things. I remember when we was kids in school, if they had an eclipse, I can only remember a few, because that's probably all there ever was. We'd poke a hole in a piece of paper with a pen. We'd all be out there like bumbling idiots. Oh, there it is. And that's how we looked at it. And then the last one we had, in 2017, I had a welding mask on, so I'm out there like an idiot looking at it, you know, at a welding mask on. It was all right. 
just don't excite me that much. It just doesn't. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what it takes to get me excited, but the Eclipse is not one of them. And all the people that are coming with it is definitely not one of them. And you know what? There's a big, huge campground right across the road from me, and guess what? They're only open twice a year for a festival. Not this year. They're opening for that. So I'm curious to see how many people are going to be crammed in my little area. My space. Man. But whatever. If that's what you guys enjoy. But I have noticed gas prices jumped a dime yesterday. Yeah. You know why? Because uh, we're greedy society. Anywhere you can make a buck, people are going to make a buck. That is why gas prices are coming up. But we've had situations before that have been just pumped up in the media. I mean, just blown out of proportion. Y2K. Uh, the world ending in 2012. People were buying into that. I did not buy into that. I was actually working. Uh, uh, we've had all kinds of stuff like that in the past. I don't think as many people are going to be traveling is there the media is pumping it up to me it's just you know gas prices and they're you know compared to what they've been they're lower but people have jobs man don't they don't people still work nobody gets off for the eclipse you know what is that the you take a vacation day for the eclipse come on it ain't that interesting it's over in minutes Half hour, whatever, whatever it lasts. But I guess it'll be all right to look at. You know, we'll see how dark it gets. I know my security lights will probably come on. Anyway, we'll wait and see. And I will be there to report it. Yeah. Maybe, hey, I'll give, I got a prime spot to view it. Maybe I'll rent that out. But you get out of line once, I'm kicking you out of here. That's right. All right, guys, I've said my thing. My, uh, my hand has been down for two days now. It is extremely painful. It's car carpal tunnel. Once in a while, I get a flare up. It's like I can't grip anything. I couldn't even pick up an aspirin right now. The pain shoots down through the middle and right into here. At least this one is. Uh, it started about 10 o'clock in the morning yesterday. And when I, I woke up at 2 this morning. Yep. 4 now. And it, it for a little bit it was okay. But as I start moving it around, it's... So I haven't been able to get much done. And I need to get the kitchen finished and things like that. But... Ain't nothing happening with the hand ain't working. It has to be my right hand, too. And But I can do stuff with my left hand, like drink coffee. Ah. So if you are traveling, and it's going to be like they're predicting, be careful. Because you know how people get there. They want their viewing spot. I honestly don't know where these people think they're going to go to view things. Uh, if they've got things in advance, I mean... If you come to my town, we got a few parks, but you got a lot of trees, you got mountains in the way. The sun should be really high, though. My house faces north and south. The sun will be about right here. I think it happens around 2 in the afternoon, sometime like that. So I will have a beautiful... I'll probably get on my deck. I have not had my deck, but for a couple of years. And that would be probably the ideal spot to film it, because it will be right there above me. And I don't have it now. What I basically have is like a a filter about, let me show you what I plan to do. I got a filter about this size. So I need to rig up a little frame for the filter. And then I'll take my camera, mount it on a tripod and have the, I don't know how, I'm going to have to test it. I don't know if I got to have the filter right on the lens. I would think so. Yeah, I'd probably have to go, well, I'll set it up to where it's right on the lens like that, or we'll see what happens. It may not come out at all. I know everybody and their brother is going to try to film the eclipse, so I'm, you know, I might as well get on board. 
uh, and I'll put this camera on a time lapse but right next to it hey maybe I'll pick up something cool maybe you know who knows I'm just gonna try it I think it would look neat to see if it comes out see how I can edit that do different things with it if it doesn't happen I could care less <laughs> I, I really don't it's just nothing that uh, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over if it's cloudy but I guess it ain't going to happen again in my lifetime, this scale of eclipse. So, I'll film it. I'll put it on the channel. Maybe I'll put some uh, put some of it on this channel. Uh, I don't know. But if you go somewhere, stay safe. Where are we looking at? 11 minutes. I've yet too long. And uh, yesterday's video, if you'll notice, if you've seen it early, I had a thumbnail uh, with the old World War II soldier on it, and I had the title and all that. Guys, people do not click on stuff like that anymore. They are not interested in, in, in war stories or history. They're just not. And it, it was the worst performing video I ever put out on this channel. And YouTube tells you in the analytics what's the problem. And people weren't clicking on the thumbnail. I got a little flustered. So I made a new thumbnail. Uh, I forget what I put in it. It just said, let me look. Let me look. I'm right here. But I do know on the title I wrote, uh, the subject has been, oh, no subject in the thumbnail. And then I put this content and it has been removed. And the minute I changed that thumbnail, the views started going up immediately. So if you ever see me do that, I do that often. If I see a video is not doing well, I change the thumbnail or I'll change the title. And because people will see that, you know, no subject. This video or this content has been removed. You know people are curious. They're going to click on it. And it worked. So that's why I did that, which is a shame that people aren't interested in stuff like that. But that's the world we live in today. Uh, that nobody's going to watch stuff that's interesting. They just, they want to watch, uh, you know, some little eight-year-old kid dancing on the corner to some gangster song. And I, I see those all over. I hate those stupid videos where they're doing that little shuffle to some rap music. Oh uh, man, it's uh, I'm going to get me a time machine going back to 1800s. Okay, that's where I came from. I'm going back. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails.